Good evening, this is the Mystic Kitty. My name is Michelle, and we're going to do a blockage read tonight. Um, this is a general read, Cannot will not resonate with everyone, that's okay. Take what you can, leave what you can't. Um, like, subscribe, and share the videos in the channel so that we can reach a broader audience. I'm so grateful for all of the followers and the comments and the likes that I've gotten, the shares. This channel's come so far in a year, and I can't wait to see what it does next year. Um, it's kind of been a cool little ride. I went back and I watched some of my videos from the beginning of the, the channel at the beginning of this year. And it was so crazy to see how much more comfortable I am in front of the camera now. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing now. So please leave me, leave me like a comment. I don't get enough comments on these tarot reads, so I don't know what's resonating with who, if you're enjoying it, if you want more of something, I'm kind of just doing whatever I'm led to do, which I'm hoping means that you guys are really enjoying them. But if there's something you'd like more of, or if there's a certain type of read that I do and you're like, wow, I wish this was an every month thing, let me know because I can try to work it in, right? Next up, Capricorn. So we are going to pull a light and shadows or a shadows and light oracle card um, to kind of identify the blockage and um, then tarot and then advice from the universe from some more tarot and then we'll do a star sea card and an energy oracle and we'll be all done Capricorn. I try to keep these ones short. I've actually been trying to keep all of them shorter. I don't, uh, I've noticed that the longer reads just don't get the views. So that tells me that you guys would prefer them to be short, sweet, to the point. So let's get to it. All right. A blockage for Capricorn, please. A blockage energy for Capricorn. That's two. All right. Let's see what they are. I actually think they kind of go together, guys. We're going to take them both. So coming out first, you got Storm Angel. Collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energy. And I think to deepen that just further, you got the ghost of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessings. So I feel like... Okay. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I had to listen. So Storm Angel... That's the main conflict right now is the collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energies. That is the main like blockage, right? But their advice or their like their workaround is to count what count the blessings within that blockage. Find find things to be grateful for within that blockage, within that struggle. And once you start to like be grateful for the struggle, all of a sudden these struggles are going to start to go away. The conflict will go away. The collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energy. Those people will all start going away because you're grateful. You're happy they're there, right? And if they're pulling in this negative energy, the last thing they want to do is be around somebody who's fucking happy, let me tell you. Because misery loves company, but only the company of misery. <laughs> All right, so clarifying these, you got the Four of Swords, the Empress, and yeah, exactly what I just said, the Three of Wands. So right now, you're in this storm, right? Which is the Four of Swords. It's making you retreat. It's making you need, need time to like recover and recuperate, and you feel like... The more energy you give this, the less energy you have for anything else. What you need to be doing is the empress, right? She is grateful. She's the mother of the deck. She's nurturing. She's an... There are times where there are some readers who say that it could legitimately be like the birth, right? Now, not a birth of a person, but it could be a rebirth of a person. It could be a birth of an idea. It could be a birth of a business. It's just, it's like the beginning. It's like a renewed start, right? 
once you get yourself into that empress type energy and you become grateful for those blessings within the storm, that's when you find yourself at the three of wands. That's when you get to take your power back and be like, that's how you take your power back and be like, you know what? I get to make these choices for myself. I'm choosing to be grateful. I'm choosing to be happy. And fuck you if you don't like it. You don't like it. There's the door. But I'm not going to sit here and be miserable with you. I'm not going to create new conflicts for you. I'm not going to become a part of this collision anymore. I'm grateful to see you do that. I am grateful to watch you find your misery. Because then I know what not to do. So I'm grateful for this lesson. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me this. If somebody is being an asshole and you say, you know what? It's so awesome that you just taught me how to identify those feelings inside of me. Thank you. What a blessing this situation was. What a blessing this little encounter was. Do you know how pissed off they're going to be? Because they don't want you to be like that. They're miserable, right? I'm telling you. Kill them with kindness. Works every time. And you don't be passive aggressive about it. Be, on, be like in earnest. Say to them, I am so grateful that I had this opportunity to see this inside you because it makes me identify how I don't want to be. Thank you. I'm so grateful. All right. Advice from the universe, please. Yeah, see? Their advice is the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the World. So what that tells me is once you get passionate about being grateful, once that becomes like the goal, it'll move, things will start to move really fast, right? Things will kind of start to fall into place really fast. You'll have like, it'll fast track you right into this, this completion of this cycle and the blockages will just fall away. But you need, you, you do, you need to like find a new workaround because... Otherwise, you're just going to have those constant conflicts coming at you. Be grateful for them. Thank them and then dismiss them. All right. Can I get a Starsea card for Capricorn, please? Thank you. Inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. What a beautiful card. I don't... You guys just don't get the full effect from these cards because of the glare. They're very pretty, most of them. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. All right. And an energy card. And you guys are all done. Ooh, we might have kept it under 10 minutes. Would you look at that? All right. One card for Capricorn to aid them in this process. Oh, that's not one. I can't take the ones that fell on my lap because it's a lot. But we'll take these two because why the hell not? You guys are under 10 minutes, so we might as well. Door to Romance and the Temple's Path. So, yeah, and I think that that's exactly it, right? Like, once you've once you've found this new rhythm of gratefulness, you're going to bring in the romance that you want. You're going to bring in that love that you're looking for. You're going to bring in those people and those relationships and those work environments that you've been longing for. You've been wanting them. And I know that you have because all of your past readings have been all about like harmony and trying to figure things out and stuff like that. And you've got the temple's path, which means it's time for you to really start looking within and working on that spirituality. Because I think once you start looking within and finding, finding that gratefulness within yourself, seeing poor or negative situations as a blessing will be far easier. It'll be easier to be like, I'm so glad that that happened because I learned blank if you're looking at everything from a place of gratitude. All right, Capricorn, have a great rest of January and until we meet again, blessed be.